Welcome to the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You're with me, Thali Bakada. Let's take a look at the headlines first. New decision on electricity bills. Partly, Trump Picker says that he is ready to accept the presidential candidate challenge. Over 100,000 tourists visit the country in the first two weeks of February. Iranian Foreign Affairs Minister arrives. Man shot near Borella prison. Injured man released from jail recently. Cabinet approval to use English in judicial proceedings. Minister Kanjana Vijayasekara expresses optimism in surpassing the initially stated target for reducing electricity bills. He conveys that the proposal for this initiative will be presented to the Public Utilities Commission and the decision on its implementation will be made by the Commission. Partly, Champikaranavaka expressed his willingness to embrace the challenge of standing as a presidential candidate if formally invited. He emphasizes his commitment to fostering a political alliance based on shared agreements. As per the Sri Lanka Tourism Development Authority, the first two weeks of this month have seen the arrival of over 100,000 tourists in Sri Lanka, with a total count of 115,328. Over the past 15 weeks, 16,701 tourists have arrived from Russia. Iran's Foreign Affairs Minister Hussein Amir Abdullahian arrived at Sri Lanka's Bandar Naika International Airport for a three-day official visit with the delegation. The visit on an invitation from Sri Lanka's Foreign Affairs Minister includes meetings and concludes on the 21st. A man was injured in a shooting incident near an apartment complex in front of the Borala Magazine prison last night. The police said that the injured man was admitted to the National Hospital Colombo for treatment. The injured man was released on bail from the remand prison recently. Cabinet approval has been granted to conduct legal proceedings and maintain records in English language for specific courts. Given that matters pertaining to commercial activities are predominantly documented in English, translating them into Sinhala involves significant cost and time, a practice the government aims to address. This was the Daily Mirror News Roundup. You were with me, Thaliba Khader. For more information, visit our website www.dailymirror.lk.